welcome to the kitchen. Cheers, it's Pride Month, so we thought, I thought, we would make a wonderful Pride rainbow cake. So I'm making a cake that's rainbow inside and out. So we're gonna start off with a lovely sponge. It's a rainbow sponge. I'm gonna cover it in buttercream and we're gonna make loads of colors and make it look really cool and just basically decorate it and it's an easy one for anyone to do. So let me show you how it's done. First of all, I've got a crumb coated cake here. It's basically six layers of rainbow sponge. So the best way to ice a sponge like this is just to take lots of buttercream on your palette knife. Palette knife is a good idea. They're not expensive. They're worth having if you like doing cakes. I've got a crank handled one here. Just put the buttercream on the side of the cake and then just go with a side to side motion with quite a firm pressure. So just like that, so backwards and forwards, just to completely cover the side first of all, like that. So we're gonna go all the way around, making sure we're covering the top and the bottom. Okay, so that's all the sides coated. What I'm gonna do is just take a side scraper and just kind of roughly go round, just to kind of like smooth it off. Again, this one, I don't have to have it super neat, so I'm just kind of roughly going round. It's gonna have so many drips on it. There we go. So now I'm just gonna do the top of the cake, which is a side to side motion, just going, going around like backwards and forwards. I'm just going to flatten over the top, have a look at the sides and just neaten off any edges. It's a little bit rough for my liking, so I'm going to give you a top tip here. If you've got a cake smoother, I'm going to rinse it under hot water and leave it a little bit damp and just go around one more time. Just one more time, they're just kind of do a little sweep. Just kind of get it a bit smoother. So that's a fine base. We're going to completely cover it in rainbow splashes. So first of all, just to finish the bottom, I have made a really fun bespoke rainbow sprinkle mix. I've just got all my sprinkles in the cupboard, loads of bits and pieces, put them all together in a bowl, and I'm just gonna go around the edge, just to kind of like finish off the bottom. So you just put a few around there. It's just a nice way to add a splash of colour. You're just gonna tie in the top to the bottom. There we go, so we've got that all around the edge. I'm gonna wash my hands, clear down, and we'll come back to do the dripping action. Okay, so we're all cleared down. My cake is waiting over there. I'm gonna make some fondant to drip on the cake. So I've got some fondant icing sugar. I've just got some silver spoon stuff that you buy in the supermarket. And the way to make this runny is just to add some water. So I've just got some plain water here. I'm just gonna add it little by little until I get the right consistency. The consistency I'm looking for is something that's drippy, not too runny, not too thick. Kind of the consistency of golden syrup is the perfect dripping consistency. So you can see that's really kind of coming together now. It's very thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water again. Now I'm just gonna use like a couple of teaspoons at a, at a time because it really does go. Right, so look at that. That's quite drippy, wouldn't you say? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some food coloring now. I've got six bowls over here and I'm gonna decorate or color up the decorations into six colors to replicate the rainbow layers inside. I'm gonna just put this in like this because sometimes when you add food coloring, it can water it down. So I'm gonna put this into six bowls, get my colors out and start coloring and then check the consistency for each one. Okay, so I've been busy, my colors are made and now it's time for the fun part, I'm gonna decorate my cake. So there we go, look, so we've got all of the piping around the edge. So the question is, how do we fill the top? What we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut each one slightly larger. I'm just gonna go crazy. I'm gonna freestyle, just pipe a few splodges on the top, randomly on, just to fill up. There we go, look at that. So there we have it, an amazing pride cake. I love it. Let's cut into it and reveal the rainbow flavors. Look at that. That's truly magical, do you not agree? Pop it there, look at it. Actually, I'm gonna pop it like this. Wow, an amazing cake for Pride Month or just for any jolly time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Everything you need to make this is just down there and I'm gonna eat all this up now, so I'll see you later. Bye.